Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place as you listen to The Bright Side. Every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you have questions about the longevity products or longevity business, we can help you there as well. Or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early. We uh, got a guest coming up uh, somewhere in the second segment. We're going to talk to the Healthy Gut Girl who I met a couple months ago. She actually heard me on Coast to Coast and called me, and I got on her radio program. She started using our True Skin Health products. She's got a really cool website and podcast she does, and we're going to talk to her sometime in the second segment. So try to call in early, and we get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you have questions or if you want to purchase any of the longevity products, please head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products off the website. We have blog posts and news stories and uh, also videos that we have up at uh, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, as well as all the longevity products. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. Help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program while you earn thank you checks, while you make some money, and you can make some significant money all working out of your home making your own hours, working as hard or as as little as you want to work, all while helping change the world with the power of nutrition and the power of the longevity products. If you're an entrepreneur, this is a business that you really want to look into, especially if you like health and especially if you like nutrition and especially if you like helping people. That's what we're really all about at Longevity is changing lives through nutrition, through all kinds of ways. We teach people how to make money. We teach lifestyle strategies as well as, of course, good nutrition and also the longevity products. You can check out uh, all the longevity products and the longevity business opportunity at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470 if you want to speak to a real live person, 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream and Truth Retinol 5% Gel, all up at truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surfactants, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. They're ideal if you have sensitive skin. They're ideal if you're just a connoisseur and you really appreciate quality skin health products. I've been developing skincare products now for a long time, since 1983 when I first started working for the Blistex Corporation and my Truth Skin Health products are the culmination of everything I've learned about how you treat the skin topically. You can check out all our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We've been talking about NAC, N-A-C, N-acetylcysteine, my favorite non-essential supplement. 
we've been talking about its multifunctionality. It's important as a detox substance. It's important for the liver, important for the immune system. It's anti-inflammatory. It's got the brain health benefits. It's got benefits for people dealing with mental health issues, OCD, bipolar disorder, addictive behaviors. It may even have benefits for folks who are dealing with severe mental health issues like psychosis or schizophrenia. And there's a lot of literature that uh, describes the benefits for N-acetylcysteine. Not surprising because it is a really, really powerful little molecule. We'll be talking later on about how it's an important uh, supplement for anyone dealing with or anyone who doesn't want to be dealing with heart disease. Anyone dealing with heart disease or anyone who doesn't want to be dealing with heart disease, which is, of course, the leading cause of death in this country and around the world. It wasn't always that way. Heart disease as a leading cause of death is a relatively recent phenomena. It did occur, of course, but it certainly wasn't as prevalent as it is today. It wasn't an epidemic until probably the middle of the beginning to probably around the 1930s or 1940s. That's what people started to notice, well, wait, we got a problem here with heart disease. This implies, of course, that there are things that we were doing. The fact that that heart disease really didn't explode, and it really exploded in the early part of the 20th century, the fact that it didn't explode until then implies that it has something to do with how we lived our lives, how it, it was something about, something changed in how we ate or how we behaved or how we acted. Now, of course, life ex- the increase in life expectancy has something to do with it. I'm not saying that. Uh, we, we're living longer, so we have a, more of a chance to get heart disease. But for the most part, we're talking about all chronic health challenges increasing dramatically over the last 100 years. This implies that it's something that we're doing. Our lives have changed. The world has changed dramatically in the last 100 years, and along with these changes have come a ridiculous increase in chronic disease. And by the way, heart disease is basically like all diseases. Heart disease is caused by the same thing that causes all diseases. It's a weakness in the heart that is caused, or all diseases are weaknesses. Heart disease is a weakness in the heart. Liver disease is a weakness in the liver. Brain disease is a weakness in the brain. And this weakness is caused by an attack from the outside in combination with a weakness or some kind of frailty or vulnerability from the inside. In other words, anytime you have a chronic long-term degenerative disease, that is a disease that does not heal, that is something that just gets worse and worse and worse, a health challenge that progressively, where we progressively deteriorate, you're looking at a combination of an attack that's coming in from the outside with some kind of vulnerability from the inside, some kind of frailty from the inside. Attacks from the outside come in mostly from food, if not completely, unless you're sticking things in through your veins or through your skin into your veins or into your bloodstream, it's gotta be food, it's just logic. This should come as no surprise that it's food because every single component in the body comes from food. Every molecule in the body comes from food. So obviously food is gonna have a huge impact on how healthy or not healthy we are. The frailty, the vulnerability, this is the result of toxicity and that includes sugar, a major, major toxin whose uh, uh, ingestion numbers have increased ridiculously over the last hundred years. We're now up, up to about uh, 150 or 160 pounds of sugar a year. This is craziness. The human body is not meant to handle all that sugar. And then you can throw in nutritional deficiency to the mix. And that's it, folks. This simplifies everything. All chronic long-term degenerative disease is the result of food, toxicity, and deficiency from a physical perspective. Yes, it's true. We're multidimensional beings, spirituality, mental factors, emotional factors. These all play really important roles in the manifestation of our bodies for better or worse, for health or for not health, for health or disease. So I'm not, you know, if you've listened to this program, you know I'm always hitting on these multidimensional aspects of being, spirituality, mental nature, emotional nature, but from a physical perspective, all chronic, long-term, progressive diseases, that is 80% of our healthcare costs, 80% of our healthcare misery, has nothing to do with Obamacare or ACA or anything that you're going to get legislated out of, uh, out of Washington. It's all about, from head to toe, food toxicity, and nutritional deprivation. And how is it that disease shows up? This is very important, what I'm going to say next. How diseases show up, if we're going to be serious about taking care of our health. All right, we'll talk about that when we come back. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this. Don't go away. 
are back on the bright side. I'm Farm Spen. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. If you miss a program or you want to direct a client, patient, friend, family member to a specific subject, we have search engines at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can search specific subject matter, specific topics, specific supplements. Just punch in the keyword and uh, you'll get a particular show or the particular shows that uh, include those keywords. That's brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. Brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Our number today, uh, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls. In our next segment, we've got a guest coming up. Uh, I'll probably probably do our guest, depending on how many calls we have, we'll do our guest either next segment or the one after. Catalina Marina, the Healthy Gut Girl. She's got a cool podcast and website. And uh, I was on her podcast, and I said, you should come on my show, too, and tell folks what you're doing. She's got some interesting stuff. She's a lay person who appreciates the power and the importance of good gut health. And I always love talking to lay people who understand that you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a medical professional. You don't have to be a scientist to understand enough about the body to make a difference in your life and in the lives of other people. And I commend everybody who motivates to do a blog or or do a website, or, or do a podcast, or anything to help spread the word about how simple and how easy it can be to restore the body back to health without doctors, without drugs, without medical intervention. That's what this program is about. You don't need to be medicalized to be healthy. Medicine does not equal health, period. And nothing says that more clearly than the fact that disease, or what we call disease, is generic. There are 12,000 plus different diseases, according to disease categories, according to the World Health Organization. But really, all diseases have the same thing, the same things in common, and the same thing in common. There's a fundamental key thread that runs underneath the quilt of every single disease you can name. So what is it that all disease has in common in terms of biochemistry, in terms of the chemistry of the body? It's called inflammation, period. Inflammation. Inflammation is the immune system. Inflammation is the calling card of the immune system. The immune system is the protective system. It's the defense department. All dis-ease. It's right in the word. Dis-ease, out of ease. All dis-ease represents some kind of attack on the body. And this shows up as inflammation, or actually, more accurately, excessive inflammation. This is important. This is an important distinction. It's not inflammation. It's excessive inflammation because, you see, inflammation is not the bad guy. We've allowed the medical model to reframe this wonderful process, this inflammatory process, as a bad guy. It's not. Inflammation is a normal part of healthy functioning. It's a normal part of how the body deals with life. It's a precursor to healing. You can't have healing without inflammation. When we're healthy, inflammation is a normal part of being alive. And under healthy conditions, inflammation is transformed into healing. Inflammation turns into healing when all is right. The problem is not inflammation. It's excessive inflammation. This is why anti-inflammatory medicines are so tied up with side effects and toxicity and even death. They're a leading cause of death by drugs, anti-inflammatory meds. When you shut off the inflammatory processes artificially, pharmacologically, in this ridiculous medical strategy of just shutting down things that we don't like, of just cutting things out because they're not behaving themselves, we pay the price. We shut down the inflammatory process artificially and pharmacologically at our own peril. Witness the statistics of side effects and toxicity associated with Motrin and aspirin and other anti-inflammatory drugs. They've had to take anti-inflammatory drugs off the marketplace because they cause heart disease and other health issues, other health problems. It's only when the inflammatory uh, inflammatory process proceeds in this out of control fashion when it proceeds faster and more intensely than the body can transform it into healing. 
Under ordinary circumstances, healthy circumstances, inflammation always occurs. We're always inflaming because the body is constantly under attack. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a defensive, it's a, a defensive mechanism. But under ordinary circumstances, this inflammation will get turned into, into uh, healing. However, when the inflammation is out of control, when we're chronically attacked, and when we're chronically attacked under conditions of deficiency, that's where you run into a problem. This is what Dr. David Seaman was talking about yesterday or last week when he was on, on the Bright Side as a guest. He's the author of a book called The Deflame Diet. Great book, easy to understand, real practical information in it. And we talked about this whole idea of, of inflammation being important, but excessive inflammation being a problem. What's more, disease is synonymous with this out of control inflammatory process. This is what disease is, out of control inflammation. When you hear inflammation, you should hear immunity. When you hear immunity, you should hear defense. That means disease is defense. It's out of control. It's not balanced. It's excessive, but it's still defense. In fact, there are no diseases. How do you like that? How do you like that for, for uh, a heresy, medical heresy, health heresy? There's no diseases. They don't exist. They're only conceptual conveniences. They're names. They're concepts. They're categories. They're nomenclature. And they were important, by the way. When diseases or this whole disease or diagnostic aspect of medicine took place, it really, it really started somewhere around the Enlightenment, the, the late Renaissance or the Enlightenment, the Middle Ages, late Middle Ages, maybe the 1400s or 1500s. This is when disease classification began. Before then, it was all superstition. They, everything was uh, miasmas, clouds, or the humors. Or I mean, they had these superstitious ways of looking at illness. Can you imagine Middle Age, in the Middle Ages or before the Middle Ages? They didn't know about germs. They didn't know about cells. They didn't know about bacteria. They didn't really have any idea why people got sick. So they said it was evil clouds. In the uh, uh, Middle Ages, the German, uh, I don't think they were Germans, but whoever they were, the barbarians thought that a disease was caused by little elves that shot arrows at you. Today we call it genes or whatever. It's all superstitious. The fact of the matter is, is that when they started naming diseases, that was an advance. That represented an advance when they started to diagnose and they had, came up with specific names for specific illnesses and they attributed them to specific causes. But the fact is, in the, year 20, uh, in the year 2017, we should be past that. The fact is, there are, no really disease, there are no real diseases at the bottom line. They're all just various names and locations to describe this out-of-control inflammatory process. That's what all diseases are. And why is this important? It's important because it liberates us. It frees us. It frees us from the doctor. And it should because there's nothing the doctor can do. Admittedly, they admit there's nothing they can do. This out-of-control inflammatory process that underlies all diseases is true about autoimmunity, it's true about skin diseases or skin health challenges. I call them health challenges. Skin health challenges, brain health challenges, cancer, and not surprisingly, because it's true about everything else in the body, or everything else that goes wrong in the body, it's true about cardiovascular health challenges. What we call disease is a convenience for labeling and developing systems and standards that allow physicians to take shortcuts. They get to prescribe protocols. They just go to the little book. What does it say that I prescribe for this Parkinson's disease or heart disease? What do I prescribe? It's a way of being lazy about health. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. I am Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products and also for the longevity business. If you so desire to start yourself a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're health-minded, if health and nutrition has helped you or your loved ones and you want to help spread the word and make some money at the same time, if you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, it's not for everybody, but it is for some folks. Please uh, check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Our number today, 844-236-6010, and we'll get your calls here in just a second. Uh, just a second, we've got the Healthy Gut Girl coming on here momentarily as well, Catalina Marina, Marino, I think. She's uh, motivated to do a website and a, a podcast about gut health, how it's helped her. I love when regular folks, lay people, non-medical people, 
motivate to really to help spread the word about how important, how powerful these lifestyle strategies can be when it comes to longevity, when it comes to good health. The Healthy Gut Girl will come on here. Uh, we'll have her on here in a little bit, uh, probably the next, either late this segment or the next segment. A couple of interesting articles that I want to tell you about here. This is from uh, Columbia University. This is really cool. Parkinson's is partly an autoimmune disease. Study finds. Researchers have found that the first direct evidence that autoimmunity in which the immune system attacks the body's own tissue plays a role in Parkinson's disease. Well, you didn't have to go to Columbia University or be a professor to understand that. All you had to do was listen to the bright side because we talk about that all the time. Immunity is inflammation. Inflammation is an immunity. There is no such thing as a disease that does not involve the immune system and the inflammatory system, period. And you don't need research to show it. It's just common sense and logic. This is so powerful. Once we understand this, there'll be a lot of unemployed specialists, as there should be, because they don't do anything for anybody's health anyway. Admittedly, they always, they always tell you, we can't do any, it's, we can't cure this thing, you're gonna have it for life. And if, they were to, if I were to say it, I would go to jail. If a doctor were to say it, that's called a violation of standards of care. There's this medical, uh, medical phenomenon known as standards of care, which means that you're not supposed to v come outside the box. You're not supposed to violate the mainstream opinions about what causes disease. If a doctor were to say, you know what, I think Parkinson's may involve immunity and I think your immune system involves the digestive tract because of course, the immune system lives in the digestive tract, and I think maybe we should start prescribing food diary or recommending food diaries and, and elimination diets and ketogenic diets and intermittent fasting for your Parkinson's disease. That doctor would be out of a job if not prosecuted. If I were to tell you I could cure Parkinson's disease by putting somebody on a ketogenic diet, I'd go to jail. But the fact of the matter is, is you don't cure a disease, you reverse it. Cure is magic. Reverse is science. Anything that progresses forward can reverse. The body can turn on a dime. But we have to turn on a dime first. And that is good news. That's the bright side, friends. All right, 844-236-6010, Sean Tay. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. How you doing? I'm doing good, sir. How are you? Well, I'm, I'm very well, thank you. How can we help you today? Well, I have a, a customer who is on some prescriptions and is concerned about some conflicts with some of the ingredients in the Longevity Rebound and the Cardio Stick. And uh, let me get this straight, Shantae. I'm going to tease you a little bit. So your, your friend is afraid that her nutrition might somehow counteract her poison. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? Well, that she's, she's afraid her poison might not be poisonous enough because the nutrition might kind of mitigate the poison because that's what it does. It softens the blow. There's, and, and by the way, just to be clear here, nutrition makes drugs work better. Nutrition makes the body stronger so that you don't need as much medication. Nutrition also supports detoxification of medication, and nutrition replaces deficiencies that are caused by medication. This is a, and I've said this before, I know I'm repetition is reinforcement, so I'm just gonna keep saying it. When you take a prescription drug, there is a hidden cost in nutritional deficiencies that will cause other problems, and that won't show up as a side effect of the drug. It won't be on the package insert. So that, for example, when you uh, take a prescription drug, your liver kicks in to purify that drug. The liver requires the B vitamins, magnesium, manganese, copper, zinc, etc., in order to detoxify that drug, which means you take a drug and now you're going to run risks of deficiencies in zinc, deficiencies in, run risks of deficiencies in copper, deficiencies in manganese and magnesium and glutathione and glutamine and acetylcysteine, on and on, vitamin C, vitamin E, on and on and on and on. So long, and I'm just, you know, I don't hope I'm not, you don't think I'm picking on you. I don't mean to be picking on anybody here. But the point is, is that I get this question all the time, and it turns out, logic, just logic, nutrition will make you stronger, which means you can use less medication. It'll make your heart work better, so you need less heart medicine. It'll make your uh, blood vessels work better, so you need less blood pressure medication. It'll make your liver work better, so you need less liver medication, et cetera, et cetera. So I know you had some specifics, but I just wanted to, I wanted to give that general idea, put that general idea out there. What, was, what were the specifics, uh, nutrients that she's concerned about counteracting her poison slash drug? Well, let me just state, I think when I'm talking to my customers that one of the biggest things that they're dealing with is fear. Because Correct. the doctors have scared them to death that what they're going to take, you know, you can't do anything that will interfere 
So her concern specifically is because she is on Armadex for, because she's a breast cancer survivor. I mean, no woman wants that to return. Of course not. Of course so not. Of course she's scared that possibly the maca or the ginseng in rebound or the maca in and Those aren't uh, nutrients. Cardio, maca, you know? maca and ginseng are not nutrients. I just want to be clear there. Herbs are not nutrients. And we sometimes collapse those two ideas, lump those two separate kinds of chemical or biochem or nutrients or plant foods or whatever you want to call them into the same basket. Vitamin C is not the same as ginseng and maca. So when I talk about how nutrients help your drugs work better, I'm not talking about herbs. Do you understand that distinction, Shantae? Herbs are different. I know that ginseng or maca were considered herbs. They are. They grow oh. out of the ground. They're plants. Absolutely. They're great. But, but uh, I, personally, I would be very careful with herbs. You notice we don't talk a lot about herbs on this program, uh, and for good reason. See, herbs are not, they're more, they're not quite drugs, but they're closer to drugs than nutrients. Nutrients are food for a cell. It all comes down to the cell, right? The cell ha uh, has a menu from which it eats from. It has a, a, very, a, a menu of 90 substances. We call them the 90 essential nutrients. A cell does not eat maca. A cell does not eat ginseng. What happens when you eat and take in maca and ginseng, it has to be digested like a food and has some nutrients in there, has some substances in there, I should say, that have to be processed. Uh, they call them phytonutrients, but they still have to be processed in the liver, and they, there's a lot of work. So uh, you want to make sure that you're making that distinction between a ginseng, maca, uh, a chamomile, St. John's wort, which I happen to like, actually, but they're still medicines. Those are different than nutrients. The nutrients are the mighty 90 essential nutrients, and that's what we talk about on this program. I can't, prote I can't as far as your friend goes, I can't tell her what to do or what not to do. Personally, if it was me, I would be using small amounts of it and seeing what happens. That's the best way to do it. Her doctor doesn't know the difference. She doesn't know the difference or doesn't know. Uh, we can't predict. So it's, if she wants to try, have her try small amounts of it and see what happens. She's going to have to be on her own on that. Personally, if it was me, I would be sticking to just the straight nutrients, the straight mighty 90, uh, mighty 90 essential nutrients, which you'll get in the Healthy Star Pack. You want to hang on, Shantae? Yes, Sha please. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're going to uh, come back with, uh, we'll finish up with Shantae and then we'll talk to Catalina Maria, the healthy gut girl. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Benny for five. Uh, well, we're not going to take any more calls. We're gonna, we've got, we'll finish up with Shantae, and then we'll... Uh, and then we'll take the healthy gut girl. Shantae, uh, real quick, let's finish up here. So uh, as far as your patient goes, understandably, she's concerned. Her doctor's concerned. Ginseng and maca are kind of uppers. Ginseng's not quite as, well, they're both sort of speedy a little bit. Maca especially is. Uh, that'll give you a nice little buzz. Um, the uh, uh, ginseng a little bit as well. So it, I can see where the doctor's coming from on that. Keep in mind, as I said before we went to break, these are not nutrients. Nutrients, you don't have any of those problems. With herbs, you do want to be a little bit careful because herbs are kind of like a middle ground between pure drugs and straight nutrition. They're not as toxic as drugs, certainly, but they're not as benign as vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, and essential amino acids, the mighty 90 essential nutrients. So you do want to be a little bit careful. I would stick with a healthy start pack. Did you want to ask me anything else, Shante? Yeah, the direction, she's a little concerned because it said the directions on those say that it must be taken on an empty stomach. And she yeah. wanted to verify that the BTT is safe in comparison to B these. And she BTT, was absolutely. about the amino acid tri triocene. She was concerned about that. Tyrosine. No, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't worry about any of that stuff. Those are okay. all essential nutrients. Those are all nutrients the body needs. So okay. the... The BTT would not interfere with Topamax uh -uh. or Dilate. Uh -uh. I don't even know how you say that. Blood it won't interfere. It won't interfere with any drugs. That's it not how it'll. No, with no drugs. Nutrients are necessary, like air. To, for, to say an essential nutrient interferes with drugs would be like saying air interferes with drugs. It's in the same order of magnitude of importance. It's like air. If you need air, air is essential. Now you know what essential means. An essential nutrient is like air. Do you follow me with the nature of essentiality? Essential means you better have it or you die. And that's what a nutrient is, a, a, an essential you nutrient is. that she could do this little along, test her own body, re, you know, pay attention to her own body a little along 
the maca and the ginseng, I would, if she wants to use that, I would kind of pay attention. I would really pay attention to her. And, and keep in mind, if she wants to use the maca and the ginseng, this is her body. She doesn't have to just do what the doctor tells her. I mean, she wants to work with the doctor if she's paying the doctor and he's, he's helping her. But she's not, she's not his, she's not his, uh, the doctor's not her daddy. You know, it's not like he, she has to follow his orders. If she wants to do it, she has to work with her doctor, tell the doctor, I want to do it. I'm going to work with this and, and I'm going to try and see if I can use this. Personally, though, I would be sticking to the straight nutrition. All right, I'm going to motivate Shantae. Really I got a guest coming on. Get better, and that's her desire. You know, so the questions are simply out of a, a desire to. I understand. I'm not knocking her. Get better. I'm not putting her down. I, I, I would be doing the same thing. I completely understand that. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Shantae. Have a great day. All right. Uh, Want to get the Healthy Gut Girl on. Kat Catalina, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Hi, Catalina. I wanted to get you on Hi. a little early. I apologize. So uh, we only okay. have a few minutes. So tell, tell the listeners about what, it, what, what exactly is the Healthy Gut Girl. Why do you, why do you call yourself that? And, and tell, okay. tell us your story okay. a little bit. First of, all, first of all, just a real quick one. My last name is Martone. M-A-R-T-O-N-E, um, yeah. Okay, great. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I, I just like a lot of health practitioners, I found my way to this career because of my own health challenges. Just like right out the gate when I was born, I was really sick my whole life. And so I had um, eventually to find a way to, uh, because the pharmaceutical route was just getting me worse. I knew that I was going to end up with some kind of autoimmune disease that would inevitably kill me if I didn't find another route. And so I discovered the work of the microbiome and had the, the foundational importance of what it means to heal the gut in order for you to get well. I mean, this was mind-blowing for me, and I, I sunk my, my teeth into it. And for the last 10 years, I've been teaching people through my program called the Total Gut Makeover, which literally guides people. Um, obviously, like you always say, you're doing the healing, not me. I'm just showing you the information and giving your body what it needs and um, to help the gut heal, to help that leaky gut that we all have, so much of us have, so many of us have, to get sealed. I like to say healed and sealed, and nice. seal that gut so that the uh, the body can function properly. The immune system can once again be strong, and we can thrive. And you know, so many of us do all kinds of things to get well. But once you actually address the root of the issue, I feel like all those efforts, all those supplements, all those diets, all those wonderful things we do, just get intensified a hundred times once that gut gets healed up and sealed up. That's awesome. And that's really what I focus on, yeah. Do you coach people? I do. So with not just my program, but uh, because my program reaches so many more people. And frankly, um, right now, for your listeners, I have a coupon so if you go to HealthyGutGirl.com, you can join the program and get a coupon code. And it takes the cost from $175 to $99, which is one-time fee. There's no gimmicks. There's no subscriptions or dues. That's it. And it just and it's a, a program you remember forever. And I up, update, you know, because the microbiome information is changing every day, as you know. Yeah. And so I up, I um, update the program with new information, new supplement ideas, things I learn from you all the time. And, yeah, I coach people. I also do private sessions and uh, basically teach people that that's foundational. Before we even talk about anything else, before we talk about, you know, uh, supplementation and everything, we have to talk about how we can how we can seal that gut up, and that's what I teach. And I also have a podcast called Stuff Your Doctor Should Know, which is you were a guest on. By the way, that had the most downloads of any of my shows. Was oh, your nice. Show. Oh, I'm glad. I know. That's awesome. Oh, I hope I come on yeah. again. I hope you invite me again. That was a lot of fun. Absolutely. I, love doing that. So I want to talk about your product, which I'm in love with, obsessed with, actually, I should with say. The truth. <laughs> You're talking about the truth. Yes. I knew you would be. I, made them for, I, made, I formulate them for women like yourself. Tell the listeners a little bit about the truth. Okay, well, I, um, I, first of all, from just what I said before about the root, I, I'm all about the root cause. Like, I'm all about getting to the foundation of what's going on, and that's what your product does. I feel like it really addresses the new, it's like you're feeding your skin. Exactly. It's like, you know, you're not just putting stuff on to cover things. You're actually giving your skin the nutrients, the essential nutrients it needs to heal and to look amazing. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll try it. I'll try it, Ben. Sure thing. And then I tried it, and I swear that omega three—that's crazy omega six. stuff, man. The omega, omega six, six healing. Sorry. Did you cut yourself, or did you get to put it on a cut or a, or burn or anything? 
I, you know, I actually went out into the sun and got my, my lips got really, really chapped. And it wasn't even like the second I put it on, it was a done deal. It was that's over. awesome. Fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I thank you I'm for super saying that. I'm happy with it. So, so yeah. give me, get, tell us about your uh, podcast real quick. So it's called Stuff Your Doctor Should Know, and it's basically my a friend of mine and I decided to get this going because we wanted all this alternative information that's out there that, like you were saying earlier, you don't have to be a graduate from Columbia University to be able to say, look, this is just common sense. Right, These right. things are becoming common knowledge to be able to say, look, if you don't, if you're not digesting the foods you're consuming properly, that's the first domino to fall in the series of dominoes called illness, you know? And so we need to just address that. And that's kind of what the show covers, everything from, um, you know, gut health to, uh, to medications to supplements to alternative therapies and modalities of healing. We talk about everything, even aliens. We talk about Even everything. aliens, too? Oh even my. Well, aliens. You did. Okay, I got you. Now, now, how do people, if they want to listen to it, what do they do? How do they get to, your, um, get you to the podcast? You can pod? go on to iTunes, and it's there. It's uh, uh, for free. You can listen on iTunes. Just look up stuff your doctor should know. And then you can also go on to my website, which is healthygutgirl.com, and they're free to listen to on there as well. And, and they, can, uh, they can search Healthy Gut Girl, healthygutgirl.com. Okay, good. All right, cool. Yeah, and then you have a truth. You have a truth uh, affiliate code, too. Give out your truth affiliate code. I do. It's have the truth uh, CM, capital CM. So have the truth CM. Uh, is the affiliate code, and you'll get 10% off. And I, those are the products, because I'm not a big, I'm all about making my own stuff, so I'll make my own essential oil remedies, and I do a lot of that kind of thing. And I've never purchased um, skin products until you. I, I mean, I have, and I was never happy. So these products, I feel like, are, uh, for me to stand by them, all my friends and clients are, are on board, because they, they know That's that awesome. I... That it means a lot, yeah. Especially the purity is very important to me. Thank you, so Catalina Martone, and... health, healthy oh, gut girl. You. I really appreciate yeah. that, and I appreciate your work. You know, just let me, as a healthcare professional, let me thank you for motivating. Because you don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to go out of your way. And I'm sure it's a lot of work putting on the show and, and editing it, and all the stuff you're doing, and your blog post, your uh, blog and, and posting, etc. You're doing it yeah. out of the kindness of your own heart, and out of out of your your love for your fellow man. And you need to be acknowledged for that. And I really appreciate. Absolutely. as a healthcare professional. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, healthy you know, gut girl. It's, it's been well, good. Thank you. Catalina Martone. We'll talk to you again soon, okay? Thank you, Catalina. All right, that's the Healthy Gut Girl. Uh, you can search her at uh, healthygutgirl.com. She's got a great podcast, and and uh, I'm a fan. All right, thanks so much for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Tomorrow we'll continue talking heart disease. We'll give you some real, logical, common-sense strategies that you can use to prevent heart disease or to deal with it if, you, if you're suffering from any kind of cardiovascular health challenges, non-drug strategies, non-medical strategies, because that's what we're about here on The Bright Side. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.